Hi, this is Phil Carlton. I wanted to create a quick video to show how you can deactivate a license of Premiere Plus 2. Now you can have Premiere Plus 2 activated on two computers at a time, but it is important that you know how to deactivate a license. Say you are rebuilding a computer, or you've gotten a new computer and you want to move that license over. It's important to know how to do this, and it's a really easy process. So I'm here in Premiere Plus 2 Configure, and I'm just going to go into the Activation Program. So I'm going to click Activate. It's going to take just a moment and take me into the activation system. Now it already has my email, so now all I need to do is type in my password. Now I do want to point out before I do this that there's a place right here. I do not have a password or I have forgotten it. So if you've activated Premiere Plus 2 before, you have a password. If you don't remember it, you can just click this link and it will take you through the process of resetting that and send you an email so you can reset your password. But I'm going to go ahead and just type in my password in here and click Next. And then we get to the activation screen. Now this is the screen that we typed in our activation code when we activated Premiere Plus 2. But if you look down here at the bottom, there's an option right here. I would like to remove my activation from this computer. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And it's going to pop up a message that says, this will remove all activations from this computer. Are you sure you want to continue? I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and it may take a minute or two to go through this process, but when it does this, it will go out into the system and remove that activation. So now that activation is available for you to go in and install on another computer, or on your computer maybe, if you've rebuilt it. I get a message here now that says all activations have been removed. I'm going to go ahead and click Next, and then I'm just going to close this window because I'm finished here. I do want to point out, though, I can go back into Premiere Plus 2 now, even though I've deactivated it. It's going to give me a message now that it's running in free mode with limited features. So it's telling me I can activate it if I want to. I'm going to go ahead and let it open in free mode just to point out that here in free mode, I do have a few options. I can bring in multiple designs, combine them, do some rotating, and even export or send to my machine. So you still have that ability once you've deactivated your Premiere Plus 2. That's really all you need to know to be able to deactivate your Premiere Plus 2 license. When you get your new computer then, or when you've rebuilt a computer, you can go back in to Premiere Plus 2 Configure, click on Activate, and just go through the activation process again with your product license code. Thank you very much.